Hello everybody, Clint Seeley here with another tutorial for you today. Today I would like to show you how, today is going to be kind of a continuation of the last video that I recorded and in the last video I showed you how to create text in the art canvas and then convert that to embroidery and then actually make it an applique object. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go into the art canvas again and I'm going to show you how to draw a shape instead of just typing out text. We're going to create our own original shape in the art canvas and then convert it and turn it to easy applique. Okay, so let's get started. Open your software and it'll look like this. What we want to do first, obviously, is just go to the art canvas. So to switch over to the art canvas, we're just going to mouse over here and click our little art canvas icon. And here we are. Now from the art canvas, as you may already know, and if you don't, <coughs> we have a couple of shape tools. The one we're going to be working with for, th for this tutorial is right here. It's going to be these interactive shapes. Right now, I have a rectangle highlighted, but this this little button has a flyout menu. You can see as you hover over or as you get close to the, uh, the object, you see that little black arrow right there? On some of these buttons, there's a little black arrow. Well, what that indicates is that there's other options inside that button. We call it a flyout menu. Let me show you. So if I click and hold down, left click and hold, boom, there's the flyout menu. Now you can see, oh, I have other options available. Yeah, see? So let me do it on this one. Boom, flyout menu. Let's see here. Hold down, boom, flyout menu. That's something good for you to practice. You may not have known that, that there are other options in some of these shapes. And now you're seeing, oh my goodness, there's all this new stuff to learn. Don't worry, we're going to eventually learn all that cool stuff. But for today, we're sticking to this flyout menu. Okay? To act, again, to activate that flyout menu, left click and hold down on the left click to enable the flyout menu. This is just the rectangle tool. It's a good little rectangle tool. Let me demonstrate that one for you. So I'll select and make sure the rectangle tool is selected. And as we mouse over to the area we want to draw, you'll see that the cursor changes. We can left click, hold down on the left click, and then start drawing our shape. And there we've got a, I'm going to zoom in a little for you so you can see, there we've got a rectangle. Now what's cool in the art canvas side is that once we draw a shape, we can change the shape. We have a lot more options with how we change a shape in the art canvas than we do on the digitizing side of V7. Let me show you. For instance, let me zoom in on the corners. Say we want to round or bevel or do something with the edges. We don't want just straight 90 degree corners. Well, looky here. I can just click here and see how the corners are rounding themselves. And it does it automatically, uniformly to every corner. That's kind of cool. Now say I don't want just rounded corners. We have some different effects that we can apply here. You see these corner effects? We can scallop them, boom, scalloped. We can uh, chamfered them, whatever that means. See? And all of those are just, see? Just click, 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 and you're changing the way. You know, now this looks like a nameplate for a, a pla plaque or something like that. You see, you have a lot of control over these shapes, and that's something I'm going to do an entire series on just playing with shapes. I don't want to get, I don't want to make this too complicated for you today, so I'm going to back out of here. But I just want to get you kind of excited about the potential things that we can do. So I'm going to hit the delete key, and we're going to start over. That was just a demonstration. You don't have to worry about keeping up with what I just showed you. Today, the shape that we're going to deal with, here we've got an ellipse tool that's very basic, and then we have one of my favorite tools, which is the interactive polygon tool. Let me select that, and as we mouse over the document, you can see the cursor has changed, and it looks like a polygon. That's telling you, hey, I'm getting ready to 
draw a polygon. Left click, hold, and start drawing. Now you're thinking, okay, Clint, you just have a basic polygon there. Yeah, it starts off at a basic polygon with five points. You can see here we have control over how many points and how many sides are included in this polygon. You can change that to four, and now you've just got basically a, a square Back to five, what about six? What about seven? What about eight? You see, nine, 10, 11, 12. You can go up to 10 or 12 for this experiment. And you can see what you also have all these little nodes that have automatically been added. Now, what's cool about this shape is it is a interactive shape. Let me show you what that means. When we start to make edits in the shape, via the nodes like here those edits happen to all of the nodes uniformly what that means is if I go now that I've drawn my shape and I've changed the amount of sides and I go to my reshape vector object tool here and engage it okay see it's engaged it's highlighted and then I have to hover over you see hover over you see how the cursor changes when you're hovering over a node once you have hovered over a node and you click and hold and start dragging that node around, things change. Watch. Left click, hold, and see as I'm dragging this in, you can see all of the edit the, all of the edits your the edit that you're making are happening uniformly to the shape the entire shape. So I could make this a sun. You see here? I could come in with it, make a different shape. You can start to round it on itself. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Let me cut, let me put a little color in it. That's some that's very abstract shape. This is nothing we would ever want to digitize. But this is just a demonstration of the power of the tool, the things that you can start doing. My favorite button is the undo. Undo. We're back to where we need to be. I'm just gonna make a slight edit. Okay. So I'm going to hover over my node. Oops. Let me re-engage this tool. Hover over my node. I'm just going to drag this guy in a little bit like so. Okay. And there we go. We've got uh, maybe like a sticker. This may not be a shape that you want to include in a project. We are just discussing um, uh, the fundamentals. You're learning the concept of how to take control of these shapes. So the next thing that I want to do, once we've created the shape that you want, we want to reselect it and just put a little color in it. I'll just turn it blue. Now this is important. Because we're going to turn it to an applique shape, you want to make sure the outline is off. By default, it's going to put a black outline around all of your shapes. Once you colorize the inside of the shape, you want to make sure you right click this X over here and you see the outline goes away. Make sure you do that. We also want to make sure that we turn the polygon. We'll right click here and we're going to turn the polygon to curves and now it is also a curve. So that's the preparation that you want to do for your shape before we convert it to embroidery. From here it gets very very easy. We're just going to convert and now we have a we have an embroidered shape. It's selected then we're going to come over to our toolbox under the digitize section, engage the digitize section of the toolbox, and just simply go to applique, left click that, and then we're going to hover over the center section of the object that we want to turn to applique, and we're just going to do maybe like a double click, boom, boom, and boom, you have applique. And you can see that over here in the color film this is an applique object. We have our trace line, we have our tack down, and we have our cover stitch. And that's playing with that's that's playing with shapes. That's simply creating a shape in the art canvas, colorizing it, make sure you disable the outline, convert it to curves, hit the convert, and then turn it to an applique object. Easy peasy, simple as pie. Thanks for watching.